This is the worst thing you can put in your mouth. It is the one chip challenge. It literally says in the box, it will destroy you. And of course, there are several warnings that come along with it. And when you open up the box, this is what it has inside. It has several things on it, but mainly the scorpion pepper and the reaper. I mean, why would someone create something like this? First, let's take a closer look at the chip. A closer looks review how evil this thing is. And I only wish you could smell it. It is a straight up nightmare. And I have a very special guest to give this a try together with me. Max the meat guy, and we're about to do something crazy. Are you ready? I'm worried. <laughs> I'm very scared. I'm shaking, bro. <laughs> Whoa! How do you describe that? Oh. Don't do that, Max. Are you nuts? <laughs> wow. Okay, close call there. Very concentrated hot sauce. That's what I'm getting. I'm smelling straight up death. <laughs> That's what it smells like. I'm just gonna test my finger first. Let's start with that. Let's start with that? Okay, let's see with that. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no! You do it by yourself. <laughs> That's actually shocking. I was not expecting it to be that bad. Wow! Just one little, one little dab. We are big chickens, but I have friends. Sweating. They say that this is nothing. They can do this with their eyes closed. I'm Steve, also known as Steaks Lions, and this chip is nothing to me. You guys already know who I am. I'm Leo. I love some steaks, and I can take some spice. This chip does not scare me. I'm Angel, and I hate vegetables. I don't know why the background is green. It doesn't make any sense. This chip is vegetable. So I know it's gonna suck, but I'm going to eat it anyway. F this chip. Not that bad right now. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> <Really bad. coughs> Chewing is not that bad because the heat just stays in your mouth. But as soon as you swallow it, that's when it starts traveling down, oh coating your whole throat. Woo! Ah! I do not like this. Oh. I'm going out guys. I'm out. Oh, it doesn't even help. How long has it been? 15 seconds. <laughs> Since we swallowed this chip? Ah, it's so bad, bro. Oh my God. All right, I'm going for the milk, bro. This. Mind over matter, guys. Come on. Yeah. Mind over throat, for that matter. Uh, my stomach is just a pit of magma. Uh, oh, it's so bad. All right, you know what? I'm going for the milk. Okay, this is how far I got. I'm crying, but I'm not sad. I'm crying from my entire head. Yeah, you really are. <laughs> my heart rate is definitely like super elevated right now. I'm contemplating life. This shit does not scare me. Breathe in and out. I'm sweating and I feel cold. I thought this challenge was gonna be so easy because when I was chewing it, there was no heat. I think it's getting worse by the by the second. Yeah, 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 100%. So the chip kind of tastes like uh, gasoline, if you could imagine that. That tasted a lot better than the bomb, I think. This is hot as Yeah, don't don't chug oh too much God. in the milk. Next time, Guga, um, have me on for some uh, filet mignon or something, something, <laughs> something enjoyable. <laughs> Spare yourselves. Don't do it. This shit. Don't do this. <laughs> That was no joke, as now it's time to make the spiciest Wagyu that ever existed. And for that, I'll be using these two beautiful steaks. Take a look. They are two Australian Wagyu Marbling Score 9. And as you can see, it's just not a regular New York strip. It is a bone-in. Many people says that bone-in steaks have more flavor. I have made a full video about that. The end result is not true. And that video will be on the description down below so you can check it out. Because the next thing to do is to go ahead and season them. For that, I kept it real simple. A good amount of salt followed by freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder. As one steak is gonna be the control. As the next one, I'm gonna be doing this. I'll be using the one chip. The first thing to do is to crush it all up. I'm turning it into spices. And hopefully by cooking it, it will create a nice, wonderful tasting steak that me and Max are gonna try. So I went ahead and added the chip right on top. As now, the only thing left to do is to go ahead and cook these beautiful steaks. For that, I'll be direct grilling both of them. Once that's done, I'll be cooking them in indirect heat until I reach an internal temperature of 135 degrees Fahrenheit. And for that, I'll be using my wireless thermometers. As now I say, it is enough talking and it is time to grill the spiciest Wagyu steak that ever existed. So let's do it.
All right, everybody, here we have the final product, Max. Very excited about one of them and very unexcited about the other one, to I be am completely honest. I am 100% in agreement with you, a little bit nervous. Here's the deal, everybody, when I was grilling it, I kind of lost it, Max. I have no idea which one is which. I have a feeling that this one here is the challenge steak, basically. How strong is that feeling as, as to this being the right one? 90%. 90? Yeah. <laughs> I'll take 90, honestly. That's not okay. bad. That's not bad. <laughs> we'll go with it. By the way, guys, if you've never seen Max before, I highly recommend you go check him out as soon as this video is over. The link will be in the description. There's a reason why he's called Max the Meat Guy. I appreciate it. Very excited to be here, too. Are you ready? Let's do it. Are you nervous? Very. I am, too. <laughs> okay, very good. By the way, let me give props where props are due. Those guys took it like a champ. Yeah. Okay, enough talking. Let's give this a try, yeah? Let's do it. All right. Let me know, first of all, if we obviously get the right steak. You know what I mean, Max? Yeah. Cooked perfectly. Thank you. But I'm scared. Me too. <laughs> I hope I get it right. You ready? Let's do it. All right, let's find out right now. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Yes! It's not spicy. Oh, maybe. Is it? No, it's not. I'm joking. <laughs> like the second you said that, it just flipped a, a switch flipped in my head. I was like, is it spicy? I think we're good though. That's delicious. That's an amazing steak. Wow. Very tasty, extremely fatty, but a good amount of fat. Not unlike Japanese Wagyu A5, a little bit overpowering. How would you describe this for somebody that never had it? To me, it's somewhere between prime, so still very good, and that crazy Wagyu A5. So it, it's super beefy, like a more traditional prime steak, but it also has incredible richness. And the texture Texture too. Yeah. Amazing. I think we won the game here, Max, because this was the one. So, so far, so good. This has <laughs> to be the one. Are you ready? I don't know. All right, let's go for it. You going for a big piece? Yeah, but I'm cutting half. I might do a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> let's find out right now. We're going to be honest with you guys. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. I got a little bit on my tongue. Yeah. I got it on top of my roof. Oh, yeah. When you swallow. Mm. Yeah. Wow, it's incredible. Yeah. I grilled this thing and it's still there. It's lingering. Yeah, but it's not that bad though. For me, the second I swallowed it, it just hit the back of my throat. It was worse when I licked my finger a little oh, bit. Oh, way worse. 10 times worse. Or maybe the wagyu just take everything off and make it taste better. Very possible. Huh? That could be possible. Anyway, guys, these are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always on the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you go check out Max. The link is in the description. See you guys in the next one. Bye! <laughs>